Hard truths I learned after quitting my job. Have you ever dreamed of quitting your job and living life on your own terms? You probably imagined waking up without an alarm clock, sipping coffee by the beach, and working only when you feel like it. Let me tell you, it's not as easy as it sounds. Today, I'm going to share the hard truths I learned after quitting my job. Truths that nobody talks about but you need to know if you want to succeed on this path. Buckle up because this journey is real, raw, and worth every step. For those of you who are new here, hello, I'm Sally. I used to work as a nurse, taking care of patients and pulling long, exhausting shifts. It was a stable job and sure, it gave me a sense of purpose. But deep down, I knew it wasn't the life I wanted. I wanted to spend more time with my kids, be there for their milestone, and live on my own terms. Sounds familiar? After years of wearing scrubs and tending to others, I made the leap. I quit my job and embarked on this wild entrepreneurial journey. Was it brave? Yes, it was. Was it scary? Absolutely, 100%. But it's been one of the most important decisions of my life. Today, I'm going to break down some hard truths that I learned along the way. Things that no one tells you about when you decide to walk away from a stable career. Number one, you're not prepared for feeling alone. When you quit your job, one thing that hits you hard is how alone you can feel. You don't realize how much of your social life revolves around work until you live it. As a nurse, I was constantly surrounded by people, patients, doctors, fellow nurses, and there was always something happening. But once I quit, all of that was gone. Suddenly, it was just me. And of course, the kids and my husband. There were no more conversations over coffee with colleagues, no more shared frustrations about work. I felt like I had stepped away from this big, busy world into a quiet, empty space. And it was overwhelming. You start to realize how much your routine and relationships were tied to your job. At first, I didn't know how to deal with that loneliness. It felt like I had lost a big part of my identity. Even though I had my family, the day-to-day -day interactions, the camaraderie of working with the team, that was missing. And let me tell you, when you're used to being around people all the time, being alone can feel like the world suddenly got a lot smaller. But here's what I learned. Being alone is not a bad thing. It's in those moments that you start to build a deeper connection with yourself. You become more self-reliant and you start to see that this is just the beginning of a new chapter. Yes, it can be lonely, but it's also an opportunity to rediscover what truly drives you. Eventually, I found new ways to connect with people, fellow entrepreneurs, online communities, and built a new circle that helped me grow even more. So if you're feeling alone after quitting your job, just know this, you're not alone in feeling alone. It's part of the journey, and it's something that will push you to grow in ways you never expected. Number two, financial freedom doesn't happen overnight. Let's be real. Sino ba dito ang nag-isip na pag nag-quit sila sa trabaho nila, ayayaman agad? That was me. I thought, if I would quit and start a business, money would just start flowing in. Reality check. Building a business takes time. A lot of it. And that's something people don't tell you. When you walk away from a steady paycheck, it can feel like you're taking a step back before you leap forward. There were moments when I doubted myself, moments where I had to really tighten my budget and manage my finances wisely. It was humbling, but the key was consistency. I knew I was building something bigger than just a job. I was building freedom for myself and my family. And let me tell you, the journey is worth it. But patience is key. You're playing the long game. Number three, it gets lonely, but that's where the growth happens. 
I never thought I'd miss the everyday noise of the hospital, the chismes with the co-workers, the constant flow of patients, even the annoying sound of beeping machines. But when you're suddenly working for yourself, you realize how much you miss the hustle and bustle of an office or workplace. Entrepreneurship can be lonely. It's just you and your thoughts most of the time. You're not surrounded by co-workers anymore. You don't have a team to fall back on. And sometimes, you miss those small conversations that made the workday more bearable. But you know what? That loneliness is where growth happens. When you have no one else to rely on but yourself, you learn to dig deep. You become resourceful. You learn to trust your own judgment. Over time, I built my own network, connecting with other entrepreneurs, joining online communities, and surrounding myself with like-minded people who understood the journey. And that's the key. Find your tribe, guys. You don't have to do it alone. Number four, you'll work harder than ever but it'll be worth it. Before quitting, I had this dream of sipping margaritas on the beach, checking my bank account, and seeing money roll in without lifting a finger. Oh, how wrong I was. Entrepreneurship is a 24-7 grind, especially in the beginning. You're the boss, the employee, the marketer, the accountant. You do it all. There were nights when I stayed up until 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and even not sleeping at all. I do studying, researching, planning, and wondering if I'd ever get a good night's sleep again. And some days, I work harder than I ever did as a nurse. Actually, most of the time. But here's the truth. When you love what you're doing or building, it doesn't feel like work. Sure, there are stressful days. Actually, there are lots of stressful days. But the satisfaction of working on something you are passionate about is unbeatable. And that's the key. Find something you are passionate about. Because when things get tough, and trust me, they will, it's your passion that keeps you going. The hard work pays off, but only if you love the grind. 5. Failure is a part of the process. I'll be honest, I've failed many 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 times from launching products that didn't sell to businesses that didn't take off there were many moments where i thought is this really for me like did i do the right choice <laughs> did i made the right decision but here's the thing failure is not the opposite of success it's part of the journey and sometimes it's hard to believe that you know when you are experiencing the hard part of entrepreneurship but you just got to believe it every time i failed i learned something valuable i learned what didn't work which helped me figure out what would work in the future so if you're thinking of quitting your job and fear failure don't failures are lessons in disguise they push you to rethink to innovate and to come back stronger. Number six, betting on yourself is always the right move. When I quit my job, there were a lot of people who doubted me. Friends, family, even I had my moments of doubt. Parang feeling ko, sinayang ko lang yung pagiging nurse ko. Ang tagal-tagal kong pinaghirapan para maging nurse ako, makapunta ng Canada, ang dami-daming mga exams, ang daming pagod sa mga duty. Alam mo yun? But, Looking back, I can say with 100% confidence, I have no regrets. Quitting was one of the best decisions I ever made because it taught me the value of betting on myself. I now have the freedom to spend time with my family, walang makakatalo doon, to work on projects that I love, and to live life on my own terms. And that, that's priceless. I get to choose now kung ano ang next na gagawin ko. Mag-create ng ibang channel, mag-launch ng ibang business or product, mag-aral ng kung ano-ano mga bagay na interesado ako like dancing lessons kasi I used to love dancing when I was a kid or mag-zumba araw-araw, mag-voice lesson which I did actually at kumanta pa ako sa isang concert, mag-motorcycle ride, mag-explore ng mga iba't ibang lugar, gawin mo yung mga gusto mong gawin, yung makakapagpasaya sa'yo. If you're on the fence about quitting your job, just remember this, betting on yourself is never a mistake. It's tough, yes, sobra, it's scary, but 
when you choose you, you're setting yourself up for a life you truly want. And for those people who are thinking of quitting their job, what I would advise is, pag-isipan yung mabuti. What is your why? Yeah, bakit? An- ano ang rason kung bakit gustong quit ang job mo? That's, that's very, very important. For me, my why is to spend more time with my family. What's your plan? Um, that's a grub. What is it? That's a grub. Uh, santol? Yeah, Santol. Santol. Yan na, paplat na ni Bella. Santol. Yay! Nice one, Bella. Okay, so, you really have to think of your why and um, do it slowly. Huwag yung basta-basta quit ka kaagad dahil gusto mo, gusto mo. You have to have plans. You really have to plan for it. Huwag basta-basta. Okay? Ngayon, na share ko na yung story ko, it doesn't mean na my story or the way I did it will also work for you kasi magkakaiba tayo. I'm just telling what I did what are my thoughts? Ano yung pinagdaanan ko? You do your research, plan ahead, think of it many, 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 many times. Okay? And now that you know the hard truths I learned after quitting my job, don't stop here. Watch this next video where I dive deeper into how I'm building a legacy business that can be passed on to our kids and the next generations. Click here to see how you can do the same.